This one comes from Susan in Virginia. We will be taking our five grandchildren to Disney World in the middle of November. We'd like to treat them to a few extra special activities. <clears throat> Can't talk. Uh, we are planning on breakfast with the characters. Are there any other things that you could recommend, please? Susan, this is so cool. Taking the grandkids to Disney World. I can't wait to do this. Uh, I might even have to rent some kids um, and, and take them to Disney World uh, while, I'm, while I'm impatiently waiting for uh, the kids to have um, kids, my kids to have kids. But anyway, there are a ton of special things to do. Almost everywhere you look, there are things, extra things that you can do with your grandkids. Um, it kind of depends on their ages and their genders. Um, you know, you're not going to take uh, Bippity Boppity Boutique is for young girls. Um, but there are a lot of things like that you can do. Uh, instead of Bippity Boppity, Boppity Boutique, both girls and boys up and maybe even a little older like the Pirates League. You go get to be a pirate, you get dressed up, you get the makeup, you get to sign the book making you take the pirate oath. Um, that's just pretty cool, the Pirates League. Uh, and <clears throat> it's cheaper than Bippity Bobbity Boutique. Um, you've got things like in Animal Kingdom, you've got Meet the Elephants. Uh, if your kids are into animals, there's lots of different little special things in Animal Kingdom. But that's a tour that's kind of, it's not as expensive. Um, over in Disney uh, Springs, you've got the, uh, let me look and find this word, aerophile balloon. It used to be characters in flight where you can go up and you can see all around Disney. Go up in the balloon and see all around Disney. Um, you've got Pick a Pearl in Japan. You've got movies under, this one's free, movies under the stars every night at the hotels. Every hotel has a movies under the stars at night, uh, which is just a cool way to spend some time. Um, there are all kinds of alternatives, all kinds of nice things, some free, some pretty expensive. Um, Pirates and Pals fireworks cruise. Um, but there are just all kinds of different um, experiences. That's what Disney is all about, making those experiences. The kitchen sink um, that's a, a, a Sunday over in the boardwalk area. Uh, the boardwalk, well, it's, it's an ice cream parlor over there. Can't think of the name, which is not good of me. But anyway, you've got all these kind of activities all around. In fact, we were talking about this yesterday, and Stephanie, my assistant, said that uh, when when she was a kid, one of the favorite memories she had was getting to eat ice cream for breakfast and for lunch. Uh, maybe not the same day, but eating eating treats during uh, meal times was just one of her favorite memories. So it's it really is, uh, the bottom line is all about making memories. How, what kind of memories? Just being there with your grandkids is going to be a memory that you will all cherish for a long time, uh, for the rest of your lives. But making those special experiences, whether it's just stopping and smelling the roses, sitting down with Roy on his bench up in the Magic Kingdom, just finding those special little things that you can do um, to give those kids some special attention. That's what it's all about. Thanks so much for watching Dad's video. For more simple, fun, magic Walt Disney World information, go to Dad's Guide to WDW.com. You can do that by clicking the I button that's popping up on the screen right now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Dad's YouTube videos with Daditude.